Hello and welcome. Today we're about to unbox the new modular, get it built and then try and get it laid out either within the theme park area or the Lego City. So do we add it in to the Main Street strip? So do we add it into any of this? Obviously if we put it here, something will have to pull out. What set do we think it will look better with and then add it into our new superhero section which is the merge of dc and marvel now i don't think it's going to work on the corner where the bank is and it can't go where the pet shop is so do we swap it over with the pool house and does it just go straight there do we try and put them both side by side i think that might look quite smart We've got a lot to think of. Does it go with the superhero section? Does it go on Main Street? What does it go beside? So at the end of this video, once it's built, we will start, start to pair them all up on this table and then you can let me know what you prefer going against and then we'll try and make it work in a further upload. But first things first, let's have a look at the box. I've just clipped open the top of the box. I tend to cut all the bits and pieces and luckily on this side, we actually do have all the bags. So what bag numbers do we have on have a look. So you've got the white box at the bottom which we'll have to pull out, that's got the stickers in and the instruction manuals. So at the top of the box we have got bag, we've got two twos, there's an eight, four, five, two fours, seven, eight, two fives, six. So we have at the top of the box one one, two twos, two threes, two fours, two fives, six, seven, and an eight. So that is all the bags and boxes up on top of this. And then, this is where it gets fun in games. We then have the main box, which I'm hoping has all the other bits and pieces in there. This looks absolutely ramsacked as well. Now I will go over the box artwork with you quickly in a second, but what I do is I will get this unclipped first. Okay, here we go. So we have got roof, level one, two, and then obviously the big bit at the bottom. I do like all the artwork and the scenarios that they have added on to this box. You can see all the different displays and everything they've got. I think it works really, really well. And there's quite a good amount of minifigures. I have seen potentially that the internals might be a little bit small, but we will get through to that and we'll have a quick sort of show and tell of each level as I get it built. And then we'll just get it installed and just pair them up and see exactly what's what. But there are the dimensions. If you wondered what the dimensions are, they now are putting these on the boxes, which is very, very helpful. If you're not coming on camera properly, 26 or 10, 10 inches left to right height wise it's 30 and 11 and a half tall so there's 2899 pieces set 10 31 2 it, it does say it's an 18 plus set but i'm actually quite surprised that they've added the age on this because i thought when it got changed to the lego icon set they weren't going to put an 18 plus set out because of problems that they might have been having in certain countries and people not being able to buy them because they weren't 18 years old. But we'll see what happens in the future. But you can see it is part of their modular building collection. Obviously, it's called the Jazz Club and it does look very effective. Now, there was a huge amount of these available on the 2nd of January. I did do a video. Um, I will link that video to the end of this of a full shop tour of all the new sets that were available from the Lego store in Bristol. But we will have a look. I've just ripped these open so we'll see what is on the inside of this. We'll see how big the instruction manuals are. It does feel quite like there's quite a lot in here. So this probably isn't the best way to do it because it's all going to go on the floor. But we will see what is... Told you. These have got a nice big base plate. That is okay. So they have stuck to the flat ones. They haven't added them up yet. It'd be very, very interesting to see what they do if they change the bottom of them. It might might not be too long. We've got loads and loads of other bag numbers. We will have a look at them. I'll pick them up before after. But we have got some fancy artwork on the outside. So you've got the different Lego instructions. I don't think I've ever seen a print on the back of these. Usually it's just a, a clear a clear thing. Right, what do these look like? Now, they're not in another case. So they've just got these as a recycling thing now, which is very good. And they have the white booklet on the front. So it's one chunky booklet. Obviously, if you can remember, they used to come in the plastic that you couldn't recycle. So obviously that's now what they're doing to try and make it a little bit better. And at some point they will be going to full paper bags and boxes for the internal bits because you can't recycle uh, the plastic. So you will see how quickly that starts to turn over. We'll have a quick at the front of the instruction book. So you can see if you're going to do it white on white, it might be a bit tricky for you. But a lot of people were complaining about the last year's colour. But you've got some nice pictures. We will read all those bits and pieces off camera but let's have a look at this so bag one to five makes up the whole bottom tier bag six to ten makes up the next tier 
and bag 11 to 15 makes up the third tier and the roof and it looks like a little squirrel bit on top of there so that'd be that'd be cool but i've got that ready to go so i will now get this built and then i will stop this table wobble as well because that's slightly annoying and then we will see what is what but in the comments below before i start do you or can you name all of these modulars if i can get the light off it can you name any or all of these modulars and out of all of these that we're about to have a look at, how many of them do you have? Because that is every single modular, I do believe, out so far. But by the looks of it, they have done it in a slightly different order because that looks like it's the old um, town hall beside last year's hotel. So I will get on with this. I'll get some bits and pieces built. So we are on bag number 12, step 330, and as you might have seen in some of the other videos, we are missing pieces because we need to go into bag number 13 and carry on. So it does look like there's a little bit of an error because there are still all of these pages to go and we don't have any more pieces. So it looks like there's been a little bit of a printing error in the instruction manual, but you can see bag 13 is that one. And we don't have any of these left on the floor. I know we joke about me losing pieces, but that is the only piece that we've got. And I know that has been brought up in quite a few videos, but it's not too much of a problem. It is only two pages. So just be wary if you are going to get this set. It is page number 251. You do need to open up bag number 13 from. You don't need to open up bag 13 until that point so all the pieces won't get in the way. So it's not like you're mixing bag 12 and 13. So I thought I'd just get that. I thought I'd just get that in there. But it just is what it is with that. It sometimes happens, doesn't it? It's not the end of the world. It wasn't too much of a problem. Now what I'll do is I'll open this one up so we can have a better look at the inside of it. This is no way anywhere near a review whatsoever because it's not the kind of thing that I do. But I find it absolutely fine to build. I actually did really, really enjoy it. I know a lot of people don't like the fascia for whatever reason, but if you just want something to build and if it drops into a price point that you're happy with, I really do recommend picking this one up with or without the giveaway. Now, there are some nice little details within. As you can see, you have got all the little bits and pieces on the outside, which you already panned over. But one of these I do like, and I like the fact that the current carrot minifigure is out with this as well. But like I said, we will split it up quickly and we'll have a look at the inside. And then we will also have a better look at these minifigures before we start placing it beside of the other modulars. Right, this is the first section of technically four different things that we're going to have a look at. So this one is one big unit. You can see the stairs in the middle. They've got not a lot of nice little details within this. So that's obviously where you sit down, where they play the music and all those little bits and pieces. And then from there, you've actually got the pizzeria area. And you can see just on the shelf, you've got some nice little hidden details just by the actual fireplace. Obviously, you've got your pizza as well. As we come round and down, you've got all like the little ivy at the front. You've got the nice doors and then... Where they sit down on the tables now this was a cool little thing because when you made up the signs they had actually done the hot dog at the top just to add in the curvature so i thought that was a cool little thing top and bottom and then again you've got all of the tile bits at the front so no stickers on this one which is always nice right section number two so section two is again one big full unit like we've just seen underneath you've got the stained glass windows at the front which i think look really really nice they look really smart and effective and then coming onto the inside You've got nice little bits of detail up on the side where you make up all the artwork. Okay, moving on to tier number three. So stained glass windows added onto this one as well. Same colours. Again, looks really, really effective. And then you come up and into this bit. This is where it got a little bit tricky. So this is actually where we took it from um, at the start of the video where you had to merge the two bags together. But this on the back wall, I do really, really like. And then again, you've just got the sat down, sat down bits on the one side. And then you've got the cool dresser on the other. And then you've got a skinny... Skinny little walkway with sort of like a ladder that then takes you up to the rooftop. Now the rooftop on this is this bit just here. This bit will open up so you can climb through. And then you've got a little squirrel up at the top. I do like the um, autumn leaf colours on that, which is really, really nice. And then you've got a nice little bit of detail up on the front. Like all the other modulars, they will just sit on each other. And then that one will go onto there. And then that piece will go onto there. Now the final bit, there's no point in me cutting this bit out. I'll just drag it. This, now this is the bit that I do like. I like how actually how you put this together and all the different bits and pieces that you've got on the inside of it. And again, it carries on with the pizzeria bit at the bottom and how it just channels all the way up to the top. So it is a nice, a nice 
looking thing and they're sturdy as well which is nice it's not like they feel like they're gonna break apart you can squeeze a minifigure maybe two in there so you've got to pick and choose are you going to try and stick with this sort of vintage theme for your sort of greenhouse or are you going to get some of the sort of farmer minifigures from the fresh range and obviously there is currently a new tractor out and the new little minifigure that goes with it. So you're going to add that minifigure in there and have his overalls or are you going to try and keep it across? So that is all the separate tiers. We'll get that together right at the very, very end of the video. Now we'll pan across all of these minifigures. You might as well do them in one hit rather than do them all individually. Otherwise it will take forever. But you can see you've got all the different types of minifigures. You've got the lead singers, you've got the band members, you've got the drummers. And then you have, as we come over, you have the pizza boy with regards to him actually riding the moped you've then got the guy with a pair of scissors which i'm assuming is the person that makes all the outfits and everything because that's obviously what that's for and then you've got the happy chappy that goes in the pizza rear as well you also have the violin or the cello that comes with this massive massive thing on the back so you can actually take that off but he has got the sweat on the side of his face which i think again is a real real nice touch some little different bits and pieces on this and this figure's got some really nice really nice detail on there again with the print and everything so that's a nice a nice thing on that one now bright green little bike so they will add into the yellow one that i do believe comes with the pizza van so you can have a bit of a pizza battle you might be able to get both of them outside the front of that and then maybe have the van parked somewhere else in your city so it does it does work out okay i think i think it works i think bearing in mind you're going to have lots of different if you have lots of these side by side and you've got a good collection of them it kind of was needed to have like a home for them obviously there is an older set um, which was actually a pizza set. I think that came back. Well, one of them was like 97, 98. And that had some tables and chairs and some little bikes and everything like that. So you, they are just changing the building techniques ever so slightly. But I do like how this looks. Now, I'll quickly clip it together. And then the last part of the video, we'll pair them up beside other bits and pieces, which means I'm going to have to pull some of these out. And then you can see what it looks like beside other modulars. And then in the comments below, I need you to let me know what you think is the best pair. And like I said at the very, very start of the video, I think, hopefully, do we put it over on that side with regards to all the superhero stuff? Or do we put it over my shoulder and add it in onto the city main street of the theme park? Not 100% sure yet what's going to go where, but I have already thought of making some changes which will be coming in the next My City upload. Right, first pairing. So we've got the Owls with the Ace Brickman and obviously the Paul Tables. You've got the Private Detective. And then that leads into the new Pizzeria, which I think looks all right. And then we've got the Jazz Club. But do we think it looks better this way? Or do we think it would look better to flip the other way, which we will flip in a second. Now, I'm in my head, I know I'm biased to this layout because this is what I was hoping that would work. So this is the reason why I've done this one first. But things you've got to take into consideration. That's from the front. Obviously, you've got that nice bit, so you can get some nice photos with them stood up and potentially you could make the ivy if you wanted to travel up the side of the wall, which would be fine. But from where I am sat, I can already see that it is staggered on the back. So if we spin it around and just see what it looks like on the back. Right, this is obviously the back of it. So this is the new one, still the new pizzeria. Then it kicks in and then we come in. So again, you can have figures if you wanted to on the back. And the nice thing is with this one, you have got the walkway that goes all the way through. So that is a real, real nice touch. And then with regards to the rooftops, you could have somebody jumping from one side to another because it just happens to be the exact same height on those two. That's the other reason I thought it might look quite nice. But what do we think? Do we like it? And then this is obviously the other layout. So this is both of them side by side. You've got the tall pieces that just happen to be the same height. Then you've got the smaller bits either side. So do we think it looks better where it just comes across and you just can't tell where one modular is to the other. I think those two colors actually work really well with each other. Um, do we like the fact that there's four separate units there or does it look a little bit lost? So we have literally gone from this or this. Now, I think it might look better the other way. It looks more busy the other way, but from a, from a display point of view out the front, that might work. But that depends if this is going together and if this goes over into the super hero section, because we could potentially do quite a good bit as a strip on that. It is very much a case of what we put it beside, then what land it goes in, depending on what display we put out in front of it. So they're the main things you got to think of. So if that goes beside this Ace Brickman, if I can get it in on the Ace Brickman, that is, um, it would go potentially just on that strip. And then I might have to rearrange how the Doctor Strange set would go. 
before I start moving absolutely everything, let me know in the comments below if you think those, those work. I will then pull one or two of those out that are behind my shoulder. I'll put it beside the brick bank as well and see what the jazz club looks beside the soap and suds. Not that I can really go there, but we'll just start getting a better idea of what one you think it looks better on the left or the right hand side. And then it might give you a sort of a bit more of a help, I suppose, going into your own Lego city if you've not yet got that jazz club. So that's what we'll do. We'll just have a bit of a play, just to give you guys ideas at home how you would like to do it. And then obviously let me know what you think looks best for my display. Right, next option is it was the closest one to me, the corner garage. What do we think? Do we think that works or are we thinking that is far too clashy and it just looks like it's exactly the same? And then if we have it the other way, we've got the yellow bit that then breaks it up. You've got the wall that sticks out obviously quite a lot and then it curves round into the garage. But from there, you're not even going to see the pizzeria. So I think that one's a bit of a bust, but we will move on. But if it works for you and you want to see what that looks like as a corner unit, and obviously you've got the bits on the top, it is just to try and help you guys and girls. But with regards to my layout, I don't think that will work as a theme park-esque type thing. Next option. So we've got the what is going to be the Gotham Police Station next to the Jazz Club. Now, if you guys would like to see these modules in more detail, then obviously please do let me know in the comments below because I will try and do a upload a week or a fortnight, like I said, from here. It doesn't always have to be a LEGO City update, though. We can go over some of the sets that are already there. But do we think that the facial and everything work? Do we think that would work with regards to everything that you're seeing? Because obviously you can see by the bottom of the base plates where the one starts and the one finishes. The colours kind of go and you've got the soap and said sign just sticking out on the side but you've got a choice of it being that way and then we have this combination so we've got the pizza place next door to the donuts i think the colors look quite nice again beside each other and then as we pan out you can see what that looks like so how does that compare to the first layer of those two side by side and how does that compare to the corner garage and the ace brickman set as well but you can see you can have a lot of display options on it being at the front don't forget i am saying just because i'm doing this in pairs they could then if this works I could be, then get another modular just to the opposite side of it. But to start with, I just want to see what it looks like in the best place because it might be going at the back or it might be going at the side and there will only be one unit beside that to start with. So that's why I'm just pairing them up currently. Okay, next and last option from this upload because I think what we'll do is we'll I'll wait for your comments, find out what you think, and then I can do it as a big Lego City update like we have been doing. But what do we think of the colours of these? Obviously, you've got the restaurant, the pizza place and then the jazz club and then spinning it round you've got that gap now from the staircase to get that goes up to the back where they sit and then obviously it just carries on so let me know let me know what you think we've gone through one unit two three four different options and there's many many more that we can do so we can either try and pair it up with the pet shop we've got the bank you've got the palace and then over behind me you've then got the assembly square you've got the bookshop you've got the townhouses the diner Ghostbuster Firehouse, all sorts of stuff. So I've had to move everything to get it all out. I will plonk it all back in. Hopefully you've enjoyed this style of upload. It obviously takes a long time to do with regards to the building and everything. But if you would like to see some of the modulars paired up with other ones because you're thinking of maybe getting some in the future and you're just un unsure what they look like and how they would work together, drop a comment let me know because it'd be easy enough for me to do because I'm moving so much stuff around to develop this sort of city and theme park area at the moment. I'm always sort of pulling a modular out and I can just quickly do a five ten minute upload just so you can see what it looks like because it is quite difficult when you see it by itself and if you don't have any of the others that lego advertise them with but you've got some of the older ones it's always quite nice to see sort of how they look and what they look like with with the others so in the comments below let me know if it's something that you'd like to see if not i won't do it if you do then obviously i will do it and again with regards to like the mini figures the modulars come with if you want like a mini figure upload of that modular where we can just rip all the heads off and have a much better look and it's only again five ten minute upload of that I can go in to start doing that kind of stuff and link it with all of the other bits and pieces that I'm doing with regards to all the Legoland bits and pieces and all the stuff that I do around Billund. I can then start scheduling more Lego based content in the evening. And I think what I'm going to do is early hours of UK time in the morning, do the stuff that's an affiliated to that trip. So keep your eyes peeled for the different types of uploads in the evening with regards to the Lego stuff at 6 p.m. UK time and then 2 a.m. UK time again. Maybe even on the same day, there'll be affiliated theme park uploads to that. So I just try and split it a little bit. But we can spice the content up if you want to with regards to more minifigure stuff, more modular stuff, more modular placements. We've got all of this to tidy and do, but I will bore you with that in a different upload. But as always, thank you very much for watching. You guys take care and I'll see you next one. Ta-da.